Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're finally getting around to installing the oil catch can from Mighty Mouse Solutions. And this is the reason why you need that catch can. You already have a lot of oil in here. So we do have the floor removed. For That's for another video. But what you need to do is get access to this and remove that uh, that plug right there. And we will be installing this one in its place. So let me get to removing that real quick. By the way, it's a big old landing wrench. And this is the closest thing I had to it. So let's see if this works. All right, so this is what we removed. So now I have to get the O-rings off of this one and transfer them onto and transfer them onto this one. So I'm gonna use some a little bit of oil and try to get them off and install them on that so they won't rip. Now this is gonna thread onto that to this piece right here. I'll put a little more oil on it just to be safe. All right, so the instructions say that to use a 13 millimeter to get it all the way in. And that hole should be facing the nine o'clock position. Yeah, we'll back it off a little bit. So it could be at the nine o'clock. There you go. Now we're gonna install this nipple so we could attach the hose to this. All right, so I threaded in this fitting and accidentally forgot to record, but it's in, it's not all the way in. That's where it stopped and I didn't kind of didn't want to use too much force. So the next step is to install the catch cam bracket or one of the brackets. So this goes mounted on this tab. So we have to re remove this. All right, so I'm gonna reach behind this. Just pry it off. There you go. Set it aside for a bit. All right, so the instructions say to put the slotted hole facing down, and then this is gonna be the mounting hole. So we have to slide the bolt and the nut on this one, and that one should lock the bracket in place to the shroud, and this one is actually gonna hold this bracket to the shroud. All right, so I'm a couple hours behind because of this stupid bolt. Ended up filing the hole a little bit to the side. And I was able to kind of get the socket in there. So now it's on there. This bracket has two bolts. And this third bolt that holds the catch can to the bracket. So I'm going to get these back bolts and then I'm going to install the catch can. It was getting pretty dark last night. So I stopped working on this. Uh, now what we're going to do is... Put this fitting on the can, and then we're gonna mount the can on the bracket. I got the fitting on the can. Before we mount the can onto the bracket, we're gonna have to put this hose. This is the drain hose. This goes down here. All right, so I was running into some little problem with this uh, filter up here. It was hitting this part so what i had to do is remove this clear plastic uh, cap right here and then i slid the can through the bracket all the way then i reinstalled this and it's this fitting back here is pretty close to the hose and to the pulley but it does clear so i'm gonna route this hose from here all the way around this this black hose and connect it 
All right, we're gonna remove this line. This is where we're gonna tee off to the can. Uh, comes off like that. I'm gonna cut it somewhere down here, right in the middle, and then I'm gonna put the tee in here, and then run the line to the can. Okay, so I teed off of this line, ran a piece of hose, and then I'm gonna let this hose just chill right there for now until I put the supercharger back on. That way I can make sure that um, I have enough to run into that fitting back there. And if I do, I'm just gonna tighten this bolt and that's it, pretty much done. Oh, and we have to route this underneath the car, but I'm gonna do that once I get it on jack stands or on the lift. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Yonke underscore OXC Films. I'll leave that in the description down below. And we'll catch you in the next one.